Hello everyone and welcome back to The Grim Reader, me, and The Grim Chronicles. First off, an explanation, and I will time, time step this for people who are not interested. Um, I had a bit of a YouTube crisis and uh, a couple days ago, and I did unlist my videos, and I apologize for the confusion. And I completely understand if people have had it with me <laughs> for this reason. And so... Um, so yeah, I decided, or I thought I had decided never to do videos again, or at least to take a break. And um, so what I did was, I unlisted, and at, on that day, and I will link the video, Claudia from Spencer's Library put up her very, very interesting little kind of documentary on people's takes on BookTube, or YouTube, BookTube specifically. And I felt so bad because that's the day that I had decided to unlist all my videos. And so there was a bit of a back and forth about that on Twitter with her. And it's always confusing for my viewers and I apologize. But it's my psyche and the mental health issues that I'm dealing with in terms of introversion, anxiety, I would say, those two. And so I did that. And then I got some good feedback and, you know, apologies for everyone who who wrote. And so what I decided to do, and this is what happens when you unlist or my mind, you kind of not exactly regret it, but then I kind of went in there and I thought, well, because what had happened because of Claudia's video is that I had gained a few more viewers. And I thought, well, that's stupid for them. They'll be like, oh, well, where is she? You know, I hate that. <laughs> I mean, for myself, it's a little like, where do people go? And so what happened was I decided to put up the Grim Chronicles, so the weekly reading wrap-ups again. And so they're back up and all the vlog stuff is gone and I think I'll keep that off for now. I mean, maybe forever. There's a good chance forever. It's all unlisted. So, you know, I can just click a switch and you can make it public again. I don't know. So all that's gone. And so now when I look at it, I like how it looks, the, the, the appeal, the, the neat freak of me kind of like likes how it's just a bunch of Grim Chronicles. It's just a bunch of reading updates. And of course, then what happened was, well, where's the one for this week? It's missing. I haven't done it yet because I didn't want to do any. And that's why I'm here. I'm I'm back to do the Grim Chronicle for this week, which I think, oh gosh, which, which number week are we in? Is it 21? 21 or 22? Sorry that I don't know that. Yeah, 22nd week. Well, this would be the one, the wrap up for 21, I think. I think that's right. Um, so, and normally I would do that on a Sunday or a Monday. So, um, that's what this is. So, without further ado, I'm back. Uh, my hiatus was shorter than than I thought it would be, but but and also for the future, just to wrap this part up. So, what I'm thinking is now that because I do need to be. It to in my mind more selfish about booktube in the sense of even even consuming it and producing for it so what i've decided to do is because i do like the grim chronicles part of it the most in a way and there is that uniformity that that's what i will do that's all i'll do like i won't do anything else so all the other stuff that other people do i'm not going to engage in and all you'll get is a weekly reading update and I would love to have comments on 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 that those videos so yeah apologies for all this stuff so now let's get into the books that I read last week and I'll post a picture of the first book because it was an ebook so I, I'll, I'll post a picture here somewhere luster um, Leilani re, re, I'm sorry, I apologize for not preparing better for her first name. Lelani is her last name. R Ravenna, Ravina, Lelani, I think. And so this was coming off of reading The Good Soldier by Ford Maddox Ford, which I had not liked that much because it was just annoying. <laughs> annoying in its unreflective, privileged the people the characterizations just didn't work for me i don't I think I, I don't think i i think if people are privileged if they're well drawn i don't really care so much about that but i didn't like it i didn't like it so much and so now then so then i switched to something completely different on purpose you know i wanted to read something different and that was luster yeah, about this young african-american woman she's young she's in her early 20s and she's struggling with life in general 
but she's also the writing is so strong this the writing is is spectacular i think it really moves along really well the pacing's good and we see her living in new york and so she's kind of trying to interact with this world that's stacked against her in terms of racism and supremacy white supremacy and capitalism all that stuff is stacked against her and she's a really i would say she's a really sweet creative person and she's also kind of sharp and smart in in her thoughts and so you know one way she's interacting with the world is is by kind of and she's also young so she has you know she has, she's she's interested in sex you know that's pretty no, that's very normal and so one thing she does is have she has a lot of flings you know one night stands with people in her office and she's a little bit uncareful about that she doesn't sort of um she's not it's it's really hard to i mean i'm an old person so you know but negotiating that aspect of your life is and for her it's sort of my sense is what she was doing there is she's trying to figure out the world and in terms of the whiteness of the world and also the patriarchal aspects of the world and so the so these these little snippets of these men that she's you know hanging out with i thought were funny and insightful and even though she's hurting herself in terms of her career or her reputation even it's as if I completely sort of understand what she was trying to do there. I, I, it, it resonated with me. And of course, then it hones in on this one person she's having an affair with whom she actually really likes. This white guy is pretty, and you know, he's also well depicted. He's just, he is what he is, but she likes him. And she likes, she's attracted to him. And and so, and she's sort of fairly honest about that, even though she's she understands the complex, the, the, the bad sides of it too, and he's married. And so, so the story kind of involves with her interacting with his family. And his family's also really well drawn. So the wife, Rebecca, she's a really interesting character. One of these uber efficient, uh, kind of super controlled ladies, women, but she has a lot of depth to her, a lot of complexity. And the way she interacts with Edie, our main character, is also really interesting and well done. And then they've adopted this young African-American daughter Akila, and she's also really well drawn. I love the depiction of her room. There are scenes to just stay with you. They go to a Comic Con festival where they all dress up, they all cosplay, which I thought was really well drawn. And um, yeah, five stars for me. It's a great book, and you should all read it. I loved it. I love Luster. Very good read. Moving on to things I picked up since then. So, because of all the booktube drama in my head, at least, um, I've done some weird things. I down. I I'm sort of thinking about the, the, the nerd fighter people and just the phenomenon of John and Hank Green, specifically John, because he's the writer of he's not the he's not the sciencey one, he's the writer of the two. And just like how have they managed to create such a sort of great community and there's so much, you know, they they they're they're very charitable, they have this chair they're working with this charity in Sierra Leone. And then he's got his YA books and I've downloaded one of them and I started it once and didn't care for it, but I'm going to give it another go. And I did download his latest work, which I'll also insert here, Anthropocene Reviewed, which reads kind of like his YouTube videos. I mean, it's just kind of funny, punchy little reviews of everything in, in the world. Like, I think there's one about Dr. Pepper and I read one about a cheesy song um, and he kind of... Sometimes he's a little bit too cheesy even for me, but he is he's very well intentioned, I think. I think John I think his heart really is in the right place. And he's a good guy. You know, I mean I hope I mean I think they're trying to do good in the world. And so and he's keeps drawing on sort of harrowing experiences being a, a, a chaplain in a hospital and really hard stuff. And I think that's kind of influenced his writing too, to a certain degree. So anyway, I I kind of looked around and some other stuff. I've downloaded a lot of stuff on my on my Kindle, which I don't think I'm going to talk about right now. I'm just going to wait till next week for that one. So the next Grim Chronicle will be about that stuff. And so where I'm at with my reading, I'm a little bit all over the place is what I'm saying, I guess, in a very long-winded Kathy type way. So I am reading this one and I'm not really enjoying it that much. It's too light it's too i don't know i've kind of grown out of formulaic stuff i mean it's fine it's dated though and quiller with his mustache i mean it's fine but it's just mm, 
it's not where I'm at. I mean, I don't, I, I, I'll probably finish it. I, I will. I'll, I'll finish it. It's, I've been kind of negative about it because it's like maybe it's really kind of mood specific, but I'm, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't need to go and read the rest of them. <laughs> and then I did, so I am slowly, slowly making my way back into AK. I haven't gotten very far, but I am, I just started reading a little bit again. And I think I, this is, this is really good. I love this. I love this. And that's kind of what I want to be reading. And I have a lot of stuff in the Kindle that I'll tell you about next week. And then there is also my review book that's also a bit stymied, the Heron fairy tales, the Japanese fairy tales. But I'll give you an update on that next week. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for bearing with me. I, many, many apologies for the mess up with the hiatus that was a shorter one than I thought it would be. I hope everyone is doing well. Comment away. Uh, and I will see you pretty soon in another Grim Chronicles. Bye-bye.